Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's Sunday and it's time for another weekly finds video. Um, this week was a pretty good week. Um, I found some colour with the $2 coins. The $1 coins were okay. And I did okay with the 50 cent coins. So yeah, let's get started. I'll start with the 50s. So I've got some a couple of Federation coins. So this is the ACT. This one's South Australia. This one's in pretty good condition. I do still keep all the Federation coins. They are somewhat of a low mintage of 2 million, so I do keep them. And the third one was Tasmania. Now this is uh, the this is a 2007 coat of arms 50 cent coin now the reason why i kept this one i'll try and get it here you can see doubling on the zero and there's some on the five so with 2007 you can find these i'm not sure if you can see it oh there we go see there's doubling there it's like cuds but yeah it's doubling and there's some there on the zero and then on the five so these are quite common, but this one was a pretty good one. It was a lot, so I kept this one. You can get them where there isn't as much, but the ones that do have quite a lot, I do keep. Um, this is the 2001, uh, sorry, 2005 Remembrance World War II. And this one, normally the cuds here on the robe, but this one has got it on the helmet. This is more rarer to find. The one on the robe is quite common. There is quite there, there is some cuds here sometimes and that, but yeah, the, the, the helmet one isn't as rare as um, isn't as um, common as the robe cud. So I kept this. I do have a few of these. Um, I just keep them. So yeah, the robe cuds I don't keep anymore. I do have quite a lot of them, but yeah, the helmet one is a lot harder to find. Uh, we've got a 2020 JC. So the mintage is a low on them. Got another um, 2019 IRB this week. This one's in really, really nice condition. I'd say almost uncirculated. Got a Marbo. For me, these are hard to find. Um, I don't find many Marbos. So when I do find one, I do keep them. This one's in really nice condition. So yeah, these are a low mintage. I did a video on the Marbos um, several months ago, which you can go check out. Uh, 1985, 50 cent coin. Uh, this has a mintage of 1 million. This one's in really nice condition. I keep all the 85s, all the 93s, as they have 1 million mintage, so the 85s are now harder to find than the 93s. 93s I have more of, but yeah, I keep all of them. Uh, we'll leave that $1 for last. Um, so the 100 Years of Anzac. This is the low mintage 2015 one. So I keep them, even though they are sort of common. 2019 JC Mob of Ruse. I kept this only because it's in really nice condition. So this is uh, International Year of Volunteers. I would say this is almost uncirculated. Um, this could have potentially come from the mint set, I think, as it is in really, really nice condition. So I just kept it because I don't have one in basically in that, that condition. Aussie Coin Hunt. This is the first series from 2019. And this is the M for meat pie. Got another one from 2019. So this is Wheat Bix. And I think this one's from 2001. Home and Away. So again, the Aussie Coin Hunt. Um, uh, they did these for three years. Looks like they didn't do it this year. They had uh, two other releases this year with the AFL coins and 
the um oh, I forget the name what they call it but and this is just a standard 2015 mob of ruse however this one has the cud there so I did keep it the cuds are quite common on the one dollar coins but yeah I just kept this one because this one's a nice one it's pretty big so I kept that one and with the two dollar coins again found another cud this is on the rim 2002 just a standard two dollar coin but it's a pretty big cud the rims cuds are on the two dollars are quite common but yeah I just kept this one doesn't want to focus Oh, there we go so yeah it's a pretty big one so i kept that one now on to the colored two dollar coins so the aboriginal flag 50 years i don't find many of these i think i only have a few of them so yeah now the socceroos so this was from 2022 100 years of socceroos Frontline workers, again from 2022. Don't have many of these either. But then again, I don't really um, search through two dollar coins that often. So yeah, 2022. This Commonwealth Games, the U, and I've got another U. So these are quite common. Uh, last week I found a few of these as well, but this week it's just the one letter. And the one dollar coin that I kept till last is um, the Mr. Squiggle. 60 years of Mr. Squiggle, one dollar coin from 2019. Um, this is the only one I found. I don't find many of these. And yeah, it was a nice find. So this was from the Woolly set um, back in 2019. They did a um, set for uh, Mr. Squiggle. There was also colored two dollar coins from that set. So, yeah, it was a nice find. So, yeah, that's all this week. Um, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the comments all the, and for the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, so, with the giveaway, just an update on the giveaway. I've actually decided to just give coins away. Um, as I said, I haven't heard from the dealers. So, I'm just going to give coins away. It looks like I'm probably going to give away the 50 cent um humpback whale and the penguin the colored 50 cent coins that were released earlier this year and um a silver coin which will probably be for first prize and the 50 i think it's 50th anniversary of this uh sydney opera house um i'm gonna give away uh the 50 cent coin the, the gold plated it's not gold plated but it's a brass uh, colored one to third prize most likely so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Hopefully I'll make that video soon. And yeah, uh, enjoy um, the week ahead. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.